Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting whole numbers and decimals. This is standard 4.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a list here of visitors who arrived and the number of visitors who left a science museum for the first three hours after it opened one day. So we've got 294 visitors arriving. Then in the second hour, 408 visitors arriving and then 89 visitors leaving. And then we've got 313 visitors arriving in the third hour and 175 leaving. So that's a lot of arriving and leaving. So how many people were here after this third hour? Well, I'm almost seeing like it's a, like it's some kind of number line here. So I'm gonna kind of break, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break this up into thirds. And so that's gonna be my first hour, my second hour, my third hour right there. And so I guess we're just gonna start with, with zero people what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the museum down here. At, I'm going to just draw a little museum here. So there's my museum with the pillars. So that's my museum. So it starts with nobody in there. That's at my zero hour. And then after my first hour, it looks like I've got plus 294. So I've got 294 people that arrived. So I guess at the end of my first hour, Let's put that right there. My first hour, I've got 294 people. Things get tricky at my second hour because I get another 408, but then I lose 89. I'm going to put that up here. So up at the top is where my people go home. And then on my third hour, I've got another 313 coming and then 175 leaving so it looks like I've got more people coming than going every single hour I guess till the end of the day and then my question is is how many people are there after that so we've got a few different options here I need to add and subtract all of these numbers I could just add up all of my add-ins down here at the bottom let's try that so 294 408 313 because you can stack your addition here. Can't really stack your subtraction. So let's see how many people arrived in total. That's 12, that's 15, that's 10, 11, and then I've got that's a 3, that's another 3, that's 6, that's 10. So I've got 1,015 people that came, and then I'm just going to take away how many people left. I'm going to take away in two chunks. I've got my 89. People that left right here, so I'm going to need to regroup. And that's, let's see, that's 6. And then 100 minus 8, that's 92. Then I need to take away this 175. That's the other one. Uh, those are my two people that left, my two groups, and that's going to be 1. That's my 8. That's my 5. So it looks like, kind of tiny right there, but 751. So that is an option. Another way to do it would be to kind of do it in chunks. Like, let's do my four, let's see what the, my net is. So if 40 people, 408 people arrive and 89 people left, what's my net change right here? So I'm gonna have to go three, that's 10, nine. So I've got 319, so really it's a 319 change at the second hour. Let's do that over here as well. So I've got 313 and 175 in that third hour. That's going to be 8. 30 minus 17 is 13. So that's 138. So if I take my 138, my 319, and then my 294, that should get me back to that same answer, 751. Let's see. That's going to be 1721. That's going to be 10, 15, and that's going to be 7. Yep, so my answer here is G, 751.